episode 20 of the Queen Bulk series. Uh, I'm actually on vacation in PEI in Summerside. I'm still going to get a workout in. I uh, drove by a gym. It's called Iron Haven. It looks pretty decent, so I'm going to be uh, catching a workout there. Uh, my workout's going to be a little bit mixed. It was supposed to be leg day uh, in my training split, but I want to switch it up. I want to go in there, and I'm just going to... Uh, I'm trying out a new training split um, that I've been working on piecing together. Uh, it's basically just... Uh, I'll go into more detail in it with the voiceovers. Uh, but basically what it is, it's a higher frequency versus higher volume. Uh, so I'll be training everything three times a week. Um, it's going to be a push-pull style workout uh, with quads and on the uh, on one day and hams on the other, just to kind of uh, make it so I don't have a leg day, so I'm able to train each muscle group more frequently. So I'll put that up on the uh, screen there, so you're able to see what my training split looks like right now. But yeah, I'm going to be going through the first workout of that to see how I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going to, uh, like I said, Iron Haven. I'm just catching breakfast right now before I go. Uh, I'm still eating my oatmeal. This is just oatmeal, cinnamon, and uh, a little bit of almond butter. I've been really hard on the almond butter lately. I find it's, uh, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to up my uh, healthy fats, and I find it's a good way to uh, get some in and it tastes good. Um, so yeah, I've been having my uh, oatmeal uh, with some cinnamon and a little bit of almond butter. I've got about half a cup of uh, egg whites here that I'm actually going to drink. Um, I wouldn't recommend that at all. It just kind of happens that I... Uh, I don't have a way of cooking it, so you have to make do, and I still want to get that protein in the morning before I go to the gym to uh, help increase the chances of protein synthesis to uh, help optimize basically my workout and to optimize my training session. And of course, I've got the essential, which is black coffee. That's going to be my pre-workout. Um, I'm not going to take one today. I'm just going to have this, and this should fire me up. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to catching that workout there. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll see everybody at the gym. What's going on everyone? Like I mentioned, I'm in the process of trying out a new training split. I was doing a push-pull leg split. It was broken down into day one being chest, triceps, and side delts. Uh, day two was back, biceps, and rear delts. And day three was quads, hamstrings, and calves. Um, I did love this split because I was still able to have my frequency at hitting each muscle group twice per week, uh, while allowing myself the ability to do more volume in my workouts, uh, which simply just means more sets, reps, and exercises. I found that this was a great balance between frequency and volume. This modified version of the push-pull legs allows to spread my leg training out over the week uh, which in the end allows me to hit every muscle group three times a week and because of this increased frequency you're unable to do as much volume in your workouts uh, and really this workout was just me having a little bit of fun and testing out some exercise sequences uh, for that new program that I'm putting together. I'll go into more detail about why frequency is actually so important for natural lifters at the end of the video uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that. As you've seen, I started off with uh, front squats. This was my main heavy compound movement for the quads today. I did three sets of six reps, uh, but on the last set, I modified the intensity by including a rest pause set. How I did this was I performed six reps, then I rested for a minute, and I performed five more. I find this is a great tool to use to try to stimulate some new muscle growth, uh, but it can be very taxing on your central nervous system, so I wouldn't recommend it, uh, doing it every workout. Do it every now and then. The next exercise I did was a close grip bench press. Uh, this is great for being able to overload your triceps with a much heavier weight than you could on any type of extension. I did th uh, three sets of six reps with the rest pause in the last one as well. I was really trying to do this exercise as explosive as I could, and 135 felt very light today, which was nice. Any type of pressing movement that you do, whether it's a shoulder press or a chest press, is indirectly going to work your triceps, uh, but I feel like it's definitely important to do a heavy direct exercise to build a uh, thick set of triceps. Uh, and for me personally, my triceps respond better to heavier your weight and uh, lower reps. This is a great exercise to include in your training split if you're trying to increase your bench press, uh, but it can also translate into an increase in strength with your overhead press as well by improving your ability to lock it out. The third exercise I did was the incline dumbbell press. I did this for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. There were a few modifications I made to the intensity for this one. Uh, the first thing you can notice is I did it very slow and controlled. I was trying to maintain constant tension on my pecs the entire time. And the second thing I did was on the last set, I did a post-fatigue loaded stretch and I held it for as long as I could. 
Uh, these loaded struts are beneficial for increasing the time under tension, um, and it's also good for increasing the amount of muscle fibers you're able to recruit, which in the end can stimulate new muscle growth. These different types of intensity techniques uh, that I'm using is just simply a way to spice up the workout and have a little bit of fun by trying to provide a new training stimulus. Like I said, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing these every workout, especially for natural lifters, because you definitely run into recovery issues. As a natural lifter, your main focus should be on progressively overloading from week to week, rather than just trying to burn yourself out every session. Every now and then, it's good to shock your muscles by including these techniques, uh, like drop sets, iso holds, rest pause sets. Uh, it can be great to include on a weak point training as well, uh, when you're really allowing yourself to have that little extra volume. Next, I moved into some seated dumbbell lateral raises. I love doing these seated simply because it takes any type of cheating out of the movement, and I find it places all the tensions directly uh, on your side delts. I did three sets at 12 to 15 reps, and I did another rest pause set at the end and basically just kept going until I couldn't anymore. Uh, once again, good to do every now and then, and it's normally great for muscles like the side delts that are much smaller, uh, that can recover much quicker, as opposed to like the quads, which normally take a lot more recovery time. Lateral raises, no matter the variation you choose to do, should be definitely a staple in your shoulder training. Uh, wide and full delts can definitely improve your physique by creating a more defined V taper, and it can even be noticeable when wearing a shirt. I just want to say how cool this gym was. It's always nice when you're traveling to go to a different gym and see different people. I actually got approached by someone who was preparing for a powerlifting meet uh, that actually asked me for a couple spots on his bench press. We actually had a nice chat about many uh, different things that were fitness related, and I always enjoy talking to others about their fitness goals, and it's awesome to see really people uh, working hard for their, uh, for their goals. The last exercise was some seated calf raises. Uh, nothing fancy here, just three sets of 12 to 15 reps. Uh, really making sure that I use the full range of motion and really trying to allow my mind to enter the calves and contract on each set. I uh, just really trying to improve that mind muscle connection. Um, after the workout, I'm gonna be re-rolling some of the meals and highlights of my vacation to PEI, uh, which was actually a wonderful vacation. I really enjoyed it. Anyone who's close to the East Coast of Canada should definitely plan to take a trip to PEI. It's definitely an awesome place to hang out in the summer. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the workout clips along with the V-roll to come. Alright guys, that's going to do it for uh, episode 20 of the Clean Bulk series for this week. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, I had a great trip to PEI, it was really wonderful. I took advantage of uh, definitely a lot of things. I went to the beach, um, I think I got the most out of the trip, which was nice. I just want to mention how important it is to be able to balance uh, your life with your fitness goals. I think that's very important. Um, I think a lot of those meals that I ate uh, that you've seen weren't necessarily the most macro friendly. Um, but I mean, you got to enjoy yourself too. And uh, one of my main things is just to kind of have my, uh, my targets, my macro targets in mind. And I was more concerned with uh, just trying to hit the macro targets. Not really concerned about trying to find out or to, not, not concerned where the food's really coming from, just trying to hit those numbers. Um, I mean, that's just a short term thing. And I knew I was going to be on vacation and I knew it was going to be difficult. Uh, like I said, I did, I did the best I could with trying to prepare my oatmeal and my egg whites. 
and just the little things like making sure I'm getting enough protein in. But overall, it was just more of a macro total. And I was just kind of improv improvising on the way. So why is frequency king for natural lifters? Uh, just simply because the only time that, uh, as a natural lifter, the only time that you trigger protein synthesis, which is your body's ability, the state that your body gets into to be able to build muscle, is actually during your training session. Um, and protein uh, synthesis is elevated for uh, anywhere from 18 to 36 hours. Um, so by focusing on doing more frequency of training the muscle group two to three times per week, rather than just kind of trying to accumulate unnecessary volume, um, you're better off just because you're able to optimize your gains over time. Um, and I think that by doing on, on this unnecessary volume, as a natural lifter, you can definitely run into recovery issues. And you can also impact your ability to progressively overload and get stronger, which would be your number one uh, priority as a natural lifter. So I think that uh, definitely frequency over volume for natural lifters is definitely very important. So I think that's really important uh, when it comes to program design to make sure that you're hitting uh, each muscle group more frequently and that you're not overdoing with volume. You're trying to, uh, that's why periodization is so good because you're able to kind of slowly add volume uh, to see basically your recovery needs. Uh, but yeah, by doing too much volume, you can not only, like I mentioned before, you can not only uh, impact your ability to progressively overload, but you can also lose muscle, uh, which is definitely what you don't want. So. Uh, the window, like I said, is 18 to, 18 to 36 hours, um, so by taking advantage and hitting a muscle group after it's recovered, you're only, uh, you're only increasing your chances to build quality muscle. Um, why sit around and wait to hit the muscle again when it's fully recovered is kind of the way that I think about it. And by doing a lot of high volume training, uh, you actually release a, a hormone called cortisol. And basically what cortisol is, it's a steroid hormone, and it's considered uh, catabolic, which means that it breaks down uh, protein, which is what you don't want. Um, and it normally is released when your body is doing too much physical, physical stress or strain on your body. Uh, hence why high volume training would be a reason why it could be triggered. So you definitely don't want to be doing too much high volume training because you could release uh, that cortisol, which you definitely don't want. Um, so I would kind of stick to more towards the uh, moderate volume. Um, there's lots of different recommend recommendations out there um, for volume. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to make sure your frequency is at least two to three times per week and you're hitting each muscle group and your ability to progressively overload and getting stronger is uh, definitely should be at the forefront for uh, natural lifters. Also, I've got some exciting news that I'd like to share. Um, I actually hired a new coach. Um, there was nothing wrong with the one that I currently had. I just kind of wanted to switch and I'm really happy that I did. Um, I'm really liking working with him so far. Uh, so because of that, he's provided me with actually my whole training, a full periodized training program uh, that I'm following. And also he's given me uh, macro targets and uh, he's given me cardio recommendations and all that kind of stuff. So it's, uh, it's nice to be working with him now. Um, because I had the content schedule already planned out, um, I'm like that with that kind of stuff. I like to plan out the content schedule, make sure I know what I'm doing and when I'm releasing, where, uh, when I'm releasing it. Uh, so I actually have my next video uh, will be uploaded to my channel on September 1st. Like I said, every Sunday, a new YouTube video. Uh, that's actually going to be on how to increase your grip strength. Uh, so you definitely don't want to miss out for that because I think that's a really good one. Um, grip is very important for any type of uh, lifts that you're doing and it can actually help you progress in your, uh, and get heavy, like for using heavier weight, allow your body to uh, adjust better. Um, so yeah, I'll be having, my next video will be on the grip strength, which will be September 1st. Um, and then uh, September 8th, which will be another YouTube video because, uh, because it will be a Sunday and I'll be releasing another one once a week. Um, so that one will actually be on the update of my coach. Um, I'll tell you who it is, who I'm working with now. Um, I'll give you uh, kind of like an idea of what he, he gave me, what he's uh, putting me through and kind of like I'll probably do a full day of training and eating because uh, my diet has changed a little bit. Um, my macros have changed, uh, my cardio has changed and my training is a lot different now. Um, so like I mentioned before, uh, I was just kind of uh, experimenting with uh, the training that I did today in that video. I was just kind of having a little bit of fun and testing some exercise frequency, uh, not frequency, but exercise selections out and just kind of picking that for the program that I'm working on. But the program that I'm following is currently uh, provided by my coach. So like I said, that video will be uh, not this Sunday coming up, but it will be the next Sunday. Uh, yeah, so every Sunday a new video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel um, because I have a lot of content in the works. And a brand new fitness tax is going to be released directly on my website, which is markluisfitness.ca on August 26th. 
Uh, like I said, uh, fitness facts are updated on my website every uh, Monday. Um, it's basically what it is for those who are new or who haven't checked it out. It's a blog, a health and fitness blog that I do. I present a topic and I kind of give my opinion. I try to educate, motivate, and inspire people um, through various health and fitness topics. Um, so I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. I present a lot of great material there. And uh, yeah, it's free. So uh, definitely check that out, marklessfitness.ca. You can also uh, enter your email address, which I'd highly recommend doing. Um, all it is is it's going to send it directly to your inbox so you get notified and you actually get the article uh, directly into your inbox. So I mean, how what convenient, uh, it's, it couldn't be any more convenient for you to check it out. Um, so yeah, I'd really appreciate it if everyone could. And for everyone who is checking it out, uh, I greatly appreciate it. A lot of work goes behind it and I actually enjoy doing it. And I actually learn a lot too when I'm doing it as well. So that's a nice uh, added benefit to doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying doing it and hoping everybody is checking it out. And for those who are, I hope you're enjoying it. Look over episode 7 of my East Coast Fitness Podcast uh, to be released on August 29th. Uh, every Thursday I put out a new episode, so Thursday, August 29th. Um, I've been re receiving a lot of great feedback from different people uh, regarding how much they're enjoying uh, the podcast, and I really appreciate that. Um, like I said, I enjoy doing the podcast. I find it's a great outlet for me to be able to kind of talk and give my opinions on different uh, things, and it kind of it's an added benefit to the blog. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying doing that as well. Um, every Thursday there's a brand new episode, so for those who haven't checked it out, uh, you can definitely, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, they're not too lengthy, uh, I kind of try to keep it under 10 minutes for some of them, um, just because I like to get to the point uh, and I don't want to drag, drag on a conversation about something if I don't have anything to talk about. Um, I just kind of want to make sure that it's uh, informative and to the point. Um, so I'd highly recommend everyone to go check that out. You can check it out on my website, marcolosfitness.ca, or you can stream it on Spotify. Um, yeah, so I would, uh, it's kind of more convenient to, to do if you're on the go. Um, that's kind of why I was so, uh, I thought Spotify would be great to uh, put it on because a lot of people have Spotify. Um, and you're able to, uh, if you're in the car driving or if you're at work or anything, it's great just to kind of throw it on. Uh, yeah, so definitely tune in if you, uh, if you haven't. And for those who are tuning in, I really appreciate it. And as I previously mentioned, a new installment of my YouTube uh, Clean Bulk series will be uploaded on September 1st. Uh, like I mentioned, that will be the grip strength video, um, how to improve some exercises to improve your grip strength. And I must say that they're they are really good. They're not your typical exercises. Um, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, and then the coaching video, the update with the co my coach and the program and a full day of eating will be on September 8th. Uh, so those are the two next YouTube videos that I'll be putting out. So September 1st and September 8th. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I got a lot of great content in the works. Uh, I put a lot of work into the videos and uh, I just want to be able to provide uh, kind of insights into my fitness journey while trying to inspire and educate and motivate others during their process. Uh, as well. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a bodybuilding, a natural bodybuilding show in 2020. Uh, so I kind of want to take you through the process of preparing for that. Uh, right now I'm in a bulk stage, uh, but when it comes to about maybe 15 to 12, 12 weeks out, I'm going to be doing a, a full prep for that. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be take, taking you guys along with that. So subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell notifications um, just so you get notified when the videos get dropped. Uh, so YouTube doesn't uh, hide, try to hide them on you. Uh, and I'd really appreciate that. And for those looking to take your training to the next level, you can register for my online fitness coaching uh, directly on my website. Like I said, it's marklewisfitness.ca. Um, I give you all the tools that you need in order to facilitate your, your path to reach your fitness goals. I offer fully customized periodized training programs, uh, full nutrition plans with macro targets, one-on-one uh, -on -one weekly check-ins uh, to make sure that you're hitting your goals and you're, you're, on the, you're on the right route to where you should be and where you need to be. Um, a limited program adjustments and a limited support and feedback. Uh, so definitely make the investment in your fitness journey if your goals really matter to you. Um, I really want to be able to help motivate and inspire people um, and be able to work with people one-on-one -on -one to be able to help people make a change in their life, the change that might be able to uh, be the turning point for them. Um, so I know for me how, how much fitness has impacted my life and I just kind of want to give back in that regards. Uh, so definitely check out my online coaching, make the investment in your journey. Uh, join my team today and register uh, directly on my website. And in terms of the natural lifting program that I'm planning on releasing, I still haven't finalized a date for that. Basically what it's going to be, it's going to be an 8-12 to week full uh, periodized training program. It's going to be a push-pull uh, style. It's going to take into consideration uh, being able to progress in frequency and volume. It's going to include your sets, your reps, your rests, your anything that you basically need. Um, it's going to allow you to track your workouts. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty sweet for uh, natural lifters. And it's perfect for anyone who's in the beginner to intermediate stage. 
um, that's just looking to build some quality muscle. Um, so yeah, like I said, that will be available for sale directly on my website. I think that uh, some of those exercises that I included in the video, I think that like the heavy compound lifts, like the front squats and the bench, or the close grip bench and lateral raises, like they're staples in the program, I feel, uh, for any type of program. It's not gonna be, uh, Similar to the one that I did in the workout, I was kind of having a little bit more fun, and it's not going to be a lot of intensity techniques either. Um, I was, like I said, I was just having a lot of fun with those different, uh, just kind of doing a fun workout, really. Uh, but yeah, I'm putting a lot of work into the program, and it's going to be available for sale on MarkLessFitness.ca. Um, you can find it there, and it's going to be at a very affordable price too. Um, so if you want some results and you want a program to follow, uh, it's definitely going to be worth your while. Uh, so yeah, when I finalize a date for that, um, I'll definitely let you know, and uh, yeah, definitely check it out. So I hope everybody's enjoying all that free content that I'm putting out in terms of the blogs, uh, which is the fitness facts and my podcast. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing it. I love the creative process that's involved um, with putting the videos together and planning them and just filming them and writing them. Um, I just, I really love it. So anyone who's looking to start a YouTube channel, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's been awesome for me. I've been experiencing a little bit of growth in my channel too, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely enjoy making the videos and I definitely enjoy recording and putting out the podcast and writing uh, in the daily or the weekly vlogs that I put out as well. Um, so yeah, hoping everyone's taking in all that free content. Don't forget to like the video uh, to show your support as well. I feel like it's, uh, it's great to expose other people to uh, my channel. It uh, might allow uh, other people to see it who are interested in similar content. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's going to do it for this week's episode. And uh, look out for my next YouTube video to be dropped on September 1st, which will be on grip strength. Uh, until next time. All right, guys. Peace out.